So when we're sketching uh, the reciprocal functions on graph paper, there's a couple of things that we want to take into account. So the first one is we always want to try and simplify the function by factoring, if necessary or possible, so that I can state what my non-permissible values are. My non-permissible values are going to help me find my vertical asymptotes. I'm going to clearly identify any asymptotes using a dotted line, and I'm going to use those undefined or non-permissible values to help me solve for what that would be. I'm going to mark the invariant points where y is equal to 1 or y is equal to negative 1. And then I'm going to use a table of values for what the original function was to find what the reciprocal functions are so that I can try and graph it out as clearly as possible. So let's take a look at this. The first thing, if I have the function 2x plus 3, the reciprocal of this function is going to be y is equal to 1 over 2x plus 3. The non-permissible values, well, I can't have 0 in the denominator, which means that x cannot equal negative 3 over 2. If I'm looking for what the invariant points are, well, either I can solve that on my table of values or I can solve that algebraically. So if I want to solve that algebraically, what I'm looking for is from my original graph, it's going to be when it was equal to, when y was equal to 1 or y was equal to negative 1, which I can always solve using that method as well. I can say that if I have 1 is equal to 2x plus 3, then negative 2 is going to equal 2x, or negative 1 is going to equal x. So it would have 1 would occur at the point of negative 1 and 1. If y was equal to negative 1, that's going to give me 2x plus 3, so negative 4 would equal 2x, which means that negative 2 would equal x, and I'm going to have the point of negative 2 and negative 1. Those are going to be my invariant points that I'm going to see on the graph. I can solve for what the values on my original function are just by substituting in the values for x and state, well, this would be negative 5 on my original one, negative 3, negative 1, negative 0 0.5, 0, positive 0 0.5, positive 1, positive 3, and positive 5. In my reciprocal function, this is going to be negative 1 over 5, negative 1 over 3, negative 1 over 1, which is just negative 1. If this is 0 0.5, well, for these ones, what I'm going to get in the habit of doing is I'm going to state them as fractions, negative 1 over 2, because then when I take the reciprocal, it's easier to spot that this would actually just be negative 2 over 1. This is going to be undefined. This is going to be, uh, sorry, positive 1 over 2, which is going to give me positive 2. This is going to be 1 over 1, which is just 1, and then positive 1 over 3 and positive 1 over 5. Now, we know what the asymptotes are based on our non-permissible values or where our graph is undefined. So the asymptote is going to exist at x is equal to negative 1 over 2, or sorry, uh, 3 over 2, or I could say negative 1.5. Because this one is exact, it doesn't really matter. And y 
is equal to 0 is going to be my second case. So I'm going to use a dotted line to state my asymptote. Where I have x is equal to negative 3 over 2. And I have my horizontal asymptote where it's just at y is equal to 0. I'm going to start with my uh, invariant points where I have the one at negative 2 and negative 1 and negative 1 and positive 1. So I'm going to have an invariant point that exists here and here. And then I can just use the other points that exist on here in order to finish off the rest. We'll have negative 4 and negative 1 fifth, negative 3 and 1 third, negative 1.75 and negative 2. And then when I get to negative 1.25, it's going to be at positive 2. I've already done the next one here, 0 and 1 third, and 1 and 1 fifth. And then I'm just going to stretch out these points to fill in the rest, where I know that it's going to try and get closer and closer to my asymptotes. What is the domain of this? Well, the domain is represented by x, where x can never equal negative 3 over 2 or negative 1.5. And x is an element of all real numbers. The range is represented by y where y can never equal 0 in y-e-r.